Shit, what's this podcast called? Discourse of Human Events. The, the discourse is just crazy, crazy, crazy. Everything's okay, I'm just trying to wag my age. Yeah, I wanna know. gentlemen you realized we've been doing this for a while and i've never done this nick well i've done it but not recently i've never introduced the people on the podcast oh yeah <laughs> like <laughs> such an amateur it, it, thing it, it to do never not actually introduce. intro the people on the yeah. podcast <laughs> i know i, I intro wait 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 huh you haven't but on the hundredth one i introed every single person Yes, I, I've done it before, but for some reason I get out of the habit of doing it. But anyways, mm-hmm. we got myself today. We have Nick. Say hi. Hi. And Chloe. Hello. All right. <laughs> and so what we're going to do today is we're going to do what's called Answer Reddit. So we're going to go through some Ask Reddits. We sorted it by, did you sort it by Rising or New? Rising. So we sorted it by rising, so we can actually answer these questions as actual Reddit user. We'll be Joe Larry, our infamous Joe Larry. But we're also going to answer mm. ourselves how we would answer it, possibly serious, possibly not serious. And Joe Rogan, or Joe Rogan, <laughs> Joe Larry, obviously not serious. So let's start with the first yeah, one. Yeah, so basically we get whatever we want. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Okay. As we do on the Discord. So... First question, you can choose one person to instantly disappear without a trace. Who do you choose and why? And why was it Donald Trump? Because I bet you like 80 yeah, yeah. of people, of so many people true. are going to choose Donald Trump. So it can't be Trump. Do you see the top comment already? And before anyone says Trump, I knew it. I yeah, knew that's it. obviously no, the I top. I did not look. I knew exactly that was going to be what everyone so said. So don't be lame answer. and say Trump. So who okay. would, who would you? So Mike to? Pence then. <laughs> so Mike <laughs> Pence. <laughs> so that way I can I, assassinate I Donald Trump. I don't have one yet. You you guys can go first. Hmm. Good question. Hmm. I'm trying to person. think. Of who would be considered evil enough that I would know is evil enough to disappear? And what would be the advantage of making somebody disappear? Like, okay, I feel here, like this is my, my chance to have a benefit, right? Who do you think is, like, the most famous person in the world right now? Ooh, the most uh, famous person? I would say yeah. Donald Trump. No, but... aside from Trump. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. I would say. Like, maybe entertainer. Entertainer? Maybe oh. Most famous entertainer. Hmm. This is an Ask Reddit within an Ask Reddit. Uh, That's a this? good question. Like, let's say Kanye West, okay? I don't think he's uh, the most famous, uh, okay. but he's up there. Well, yeah, he's I, up there. Yeah, I would choose Kanye West in the middle of a concert. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, a, just instantly disappears without a trace. <laughs> like suddenly he became a magician in a really good one because you have no idea where he went. Wait, just never comes back. Like that's it. He's gone. <laughs> gone. Especially if it's recorded, no body, that'd be great. Yeah, in the middle of a concert, just vanishes into thin air. No, like, he does the Thanos, like, turns to dust shit, too. Yeah, like, a year, like, people are like, was it an act? Is he hiding out in Hawaii? Like, he's coming back, right? And then ten years later, still not back, and they're like, if it's a trick, it's a really good trick. I mean, (laughs) if... What's going on? Well, not only just famous person, right? Just, like, whoever disappeared for a short period of time, but the whole world would notice. Yeah, yeah. And, but in the middle of a live audience. Yeah, that's, that's what, what makes, really makes it, it. That tops it. Yeah, and they just go. I got a cheat answer. You know how anytime you ask these questions, somebody is the asshole that has the cheat answer? I have the cheat answer. Go with your cheat answer. What's your cheat answer? I'm going to do a group of people. Okay. What's the, the group? group of people I would have disappear is all the people 
who adamantly believe in the flat earth theory. <laughs> Not just you believe, you have to adamantly believe. Like, they, sh- they at least make it a little entertaining. Otherwise, I'd never even think about the shape of the earth. Yeah. But that's what I mean. You morons to, know. But you don't think about it because you know the shape. Why would you need to think about it? <laughs> yes, you're right. That's true. <laughs> It, it, it at least challenges you to ch- think about your assumptions and to be like, nope, I checked and they are right. You're still a moron. Well, it did make us think that one time because we felt pretty dumb oh, yeah. when we were like, wait, if I'm flying to California and like the Earth is rotating towards me, why does it uh-huh. take as long? Why doesn't that like take away some of the time? Well, yeah, why can't you just go up and just stay there and the earth yeah. rotates around the planet? <laughs> and the plane? earth rotates you, have to, you actually have to leave the atmosphere yeah. for that to like you're just going along with the earth. You're, you know, you're at the But we actually had to stop and think about that as the earth. Yes, we did. We were we smart to enough to think up the second. answer, but why why, if I just stop walking right now, do I not just start going in the rotation of the Earth? Yeah. It's the same answer. Exactly. <laughs> because you're at the same constant velocity. Because we were thinking about being grounded and not being grounded. That's that's the issue. Yeah, and it doesn't actually make a difference whether no. you're on the ground or in the air. Well, isn't that what Elon still, still. Uh, Musk is trying to do with SpaceX? Like, leave the atmosphere and come back down with a space rocket for, like... Intercontinental travel within like thirty minutes. Like you could get to China in thirty minutes. Yeah. Well, so I guess you would still get off the. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know enough science to know. Well, that I, no, I think that's actually what he's science doing with some hard. of the rockets. Is they're gonna sh- like if they're transportation yeah. rockets, they'll shoot up out of the atmosphere and fall down. So they're gonna be curving yeah. with Earth too, towards wherever they're going. So they actually are gonna leave the atmosphere and come back down. Right, and that's it's why they be can in a travel giant sometimes. parabola. Basically. Yeah, exactly. Chloe, who would you want to disappear yes. instantly? Very good, Chloe. Instantly. Ooh, so who is obnoxious enough that I want him to disappear? Trump is I, I the was going to say a certain this. family member through law, but that one. <laughs> <laughs> we can't put that one. Uh, that's hilarious. You know, <laughs> Would would it be interesting to have someone disappear as like um, those a group of people, the group of people that attend G twenty? G twenty. Oh, yeah. like the actual okay. Yours is close to Donald Trump. He attends G twenty. You're just like, well, if we make it the group, so that's all the world leaders. Just yeah, yeah. Like, see what's the what's as the, they how, attend. What? how what different country would react to those kind of situations? Like, right? If yeah. you do. Indeed, have a democratic government, then you yeah. should be able to uh, find another one in no yeah, time. Yeah, I think most of them would recover pretty quickly. <laughs> Some of them might, you might see which one really is and is not developed. But we know the United States would recover right away. They'd be like, okay, the VP's in charge, no problem. Mm-hmm. No, wait, wait, you think China wait just, I didn't hear it. Huh? Like, what? What's that? What? G20, it's the forum Summit. for, yeah, all the major economic powers of the world, the world leaders go. Yeah. Oh, so, like, yeah, I don't think that Trump, would actually Putin, be like... Yeah, he, because uh, we don't really care some, like, in the middle of nowhere, little islands, presidents, yeah. you know? That's the thing. Think. You can tell which country is really developed and which country is actually a third world country with a good economy based yeah. on how they react. Because do you think China would basically fall apart into a civil war? <laughs> that would be so fun to see. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know about Russia. They might. There might be a lot of infighting. People going missing. Yeah, people stabbing each other. They already have people disappear. <laughs> Out of <here. laughs> All right. So, what would Joe Larry answer? Kanye West actually answers the question. I feel like we can post that one. Yeah, Kanye that's West. not bad yeah. actually. You guys gave it group answers. Yeah. All right. We got one down. Another uh, Joe next. Larry comment. I really yeah, still, I've always yeah. wanted to get one response yeah. as Joe Larry, and we have never gotten we'll it. That's it. why it was very much, we want to get one. We were pretty outrageous the first time we did Joe Larry. Like, it <laughs> know, was off the wall. I was so like, disappointed when we didn't get a response. Yeah, it was yeah. off the wall nonsense. They okay, now nominated. here's your chance to Joe Larry, because I don't know if anyone has a real answer for this, because I would probably <laughs> still lick the top of a yogurt. Yeah, I don't container. know about that. Well, read the question. So here, 
here is the question. People who don't lick the tops of yogurt containers after opening them, when did you realize your life had started <laughs> to fall apart? First off, who does eat lick them? Does everybody here lick the top of the yogurt container? I um, did. If I'm in a group of people, like, in front of coworkers, I wouldn't. But at Shame. home, I definitely would. Shame! Oh, I was still doing it in front of coworkers. I no. just turn my yeah. head around. Oh, yeah. you, 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 like, secretly le- lick a uh, yogurt top? Damn. Yeah. Yo, Nobody, crazy. I just looked that shit right in front us. of everyone. What'd you say, Zach? You said, I would just look that shit right in front of everybody. I don't know what it's up with you people. I don't know. It just seems weird. It just seems like, like everyone what, does. you not afford yogurt? You gotta eat the goddamn top? It's it not weird, like though. Me. It's just like, hey, there's part of the yogurt. What about peanut butter? Do you do it for peanut butter? A fresh thing of peanut butter? Yeah, but I don't think I ever open a thing of peanut butter in front of like coworkers or anybody. No, I'm just saying. No, like, that's all home food. In what situation you would open a jar of peanut butter in front of a coworker? I mean, yeah. like, you don't get that chance. Yeah. But yogurt, sometimes you do, right? Is there anything more satisfying than that first scoop of peanut butter in a new jar of peanut butter? Oh, no, that's so good. It's like also smooth. <laughs> It's so smooth. Okay, okay so Zach, okay. you would look at the top of a yogurt, contain, uh, yogurt container in front of your coworkers. Now, let me ask you this. If you drop some food on the floor at I your would house, eat it. would you pick it up and eat it? Maybe. No, not um, on my carpet, no, because cat hair is everywhere. So, like, as soon as I okay, it's a, a, cl- a carpet you thought was generally clean. Yeah. I, and even on my kitchen floor, I'll do it. Okay, in front of coworkers, will you do it? No, probably not. See, see, it's, you have the same thing. It's just we have well, different lines. Wait, wait. Okay? There's, there's a big difference, though, between eating floor you've, or food you've dropped on the floor and licking the top of a lid. That's your own I know, food. but you don't know other people you don't know very well. Like, you're not your friends, the people at work. They're your associates. Yeah, in front right. of my friends, I would Some people are really judgmental, and you don't know what their lines are. So yeah. you just generally try to be as normal as possible. Uh, who cares if they judge you? I mean... You're right. You're I'm the one start. turning around. I'm going to go into about? lunch the next day and just dump my shit on the floor and just grab with my hands and eat I, like I, a I ate chicken feet in front of my coworkers. Yeah, yeah you Chloe's over here like, I'm the one that turns around so no one sees me lick the lid. Like, she's the over <laughs> like, Yeah, exactly. And you have... There's also a thing. It's like, okay, that would be weird if you're not an ethnic person. But... You are, so you get away with weird yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's true. You can have... They'd be like, that's Bye. their culture. That's their culture. Those Chinese always licking the tops of containers. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell them. That's just part of your culture when you do it. They I'm, all do this. I'm it's bad luck not to lick the top of the lid. You think it's offending. You should <laughs> actually just open a bunch of containers and lick the tops of the lid. <laughs> you should no. Here's no, what you do oh, when they put their contain their top aside. <laughs> you take it and you lick it and put it back down and stare it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's such a terrible sir. So the problem with this question is that we all lick the top. Maybe not in public, but we still lick the top, right? So we have to give a real so, Joe Larry answer. When did Joe Larry's life fall apart? Like we're gonna say. I used to lick them all the time, but... I, dot, dot, I feel dot, like it has to be one of those one stories where, like, that my family died dad. in the yeah, funeral. Exactly. I was passed a whistle can of yogurt, and I didn't lick it. Some, some <laughs> That's dark. dark. A butterfly what you is got, from, from that. That's exactly what I was thinking. Somebody's died because he licked the top of a yogurt oh. container. Oh, Like, okay. it caused the death of somebody yeah. he loved. Like, how, a butterfly effect, that? though. Like, not a direct result, but something, like, incredible, incredulous. Until I I was having yogurt when I found out my wife died. No, I'm saying the licking of him, the the licking of the yogurt top, inevitably caused the death. I know, but that's really hard to work out, Zach. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the fun. <laughs> I guess I guess doing doing that is more realistic and funny. No one's gonna believe it, but it's funny. 
Okay, and we can make it even darker. I oh, okay. found out about the the horrendous murder of my children while yeah, so <laughs> looking at the yogurt. Not since last... <laughs> haven't been able to look at a yogurt container since. Yeah, here's the comment I was thinking. Not since the last time I licked the top of a yogurt container and I witnessed my child be murdered in front of me. Jesus. <laughs> That's some dark yogurt, sir. I licked the top of the yogurt... <laughs> My child died. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. What? Counter container. The top of a yogurt container. As I watched. At gunpoint. No way. At oh, gunpoint, at gunpoint. <laughs> forced. I was. Last time I was forced. Oh, he was forced to look the top of the yogurt yeah. container. Yeah. <laughs> gunpoint. It's a weird uh, Sophie's choice here. Top of a yogurt by a madman who then proceeded to kill every one of my children. <laughs> yes. <laughs> every one of my... You have to have the number. Like, every one of my four children. So there's, like, a four reference point. My four children. Okay. Re- remember the man bear pick coming from the uh, hell? <laughs> Not as bad as it sounds. <laughs> Did it? Three of them. <laughs> <laughs> I think we turned that into gold. I like it. Okay. So the, the full Jesus, comment. What is wrong with you people? Zach, exactly you're cutting out a bit. Okay, so the full comment. Not since the yeah. last. So the question is people who lick the tops of yogurt containers after opening them, when did you realize your life has started to fall apart? Actually, an- the answer doesn't really match the question. We need to fix that. Does that make well, sense? that totally fell apart. Yeah, but the question is, when did you? I, okay, like, I'll say I haven't licked. My I life started to fall apart. The top since I was to lick the top. No, no. Start with my life started to fall apart. And I, I, I think it's fine. I haven't licked it since the last time I was. Okay. I was. I mean, yeah. But obviously, his life falls apart after this, although not as <laughs> much as you'd think, because he All didn't right. care for three of them. People who but, left the tops of yogurt containers after opening them. When did you realize your life had started to fall apart? I haven't looked it since the last time I was forced at gunpoint to lick the top of a yogurt container by a madman, who then proceeded to kill every one of my four children. Not as bad as it sounds, though. Didn't care for three of them. Isn't it proceeded? Preceded yes, and it happened right. after. Pro proceeded. Proceeded. And then, wait, wait, wait. Con- Any other typos? Uh, oh, you already fixed the container. Okay. We're good. Yeah, I did. Boom. Another crazy Joe Larry. <laughs> Alright, next, next ask. Like the fact that Queen Elizabeth is literally older than sliced bread. What are some, uh, that can't be true. Holy shit, is that true facts? This is actually kind of a hard question for us because now we actually we can't really answer this. Well, we have to know shit. Really actual fact. Yeah. You uh, you gotta think of some like other fact. There are other ones that are like the age one, like we're closer in time to what is it, Julius Caesar, than Julius Caesar was to the building of the pyramids. Ah, oh, good point. Right. Uh huh. So they that's were actually as is pretty to interesting. Him as he is to us more than so, actually. Yeah, that actually is pretty interesting. <clears throat> I always find um, it actually. It'll be uh, everyone who turned eighteen this year was born after the Matrix came out. <laughs> that's a crazy one. Because, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. I haven't seen the Matrix. You, you really? You never saw The Matrix? No. I mean, they haven't seen The Matrix. They might have seen no, I'm sure a lot of them watch They might, but pretty, there's but a likelihood that they What's haven't. weird is I still view it as like a... Kind of new? Yeah, like yeah. the future is now because it was so like about computers mm-hmm. and like... CG? AI. It's still relevant Yeah, the today. CGI was really good. Uh-huh. There's even talk about What did you say, Zach? I said it's still what? really re- relevant today. Yeah. Although the one thing that, like, 
I don't the aesthetic, like the wearing their like little trench coats and like uh-huh. uh, glasses and all. Like there was a hacker culture mm-hmm. yeah. around uh, computer nerds like that at that time, and I don't feel like that exists anymore. No, leet, you know, but- no one has that like leet look. That was a very uh, stylized movie, and a lot of movies copy it still today. Like, even the wearing all black. Yeah. But I feel like it was a looking into the future. Like, that yeah. was a, this is where the future is going, and it's now almost 20 fucking years old. Yeah, it's still, that's, if you think about it, it's been a long time, right? Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. But I still so think it, like, if you it, look like, at it, it just looks like a stylized thing. Mm. I never thought of it as a like this is hacker wear it was just a cool look yeah it, mm. so have you uh, have you seen that uh, Netflix show called what's that called again <laughs> have you seen that Netflix show called what's, what's that the, called again <laughs> retro futuristic one maniac maniac yeah oh, yeah, yeah that was retro futuristic that was yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was out there but it's it's the it's the same thing, right? Uh, the back in the days, uh, say like back in the future when you first time watching, you thought like, oh, that's probably what the future would look like, maybe ish. Mm. But like now, you're looking back on it. No, that's not what future looks like. But then again, it has some sort of a um, yeah. like telling to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that mm-hmm. second comment on there is pretty fucking interesting. Oh Jesus, that is weird. Oxford <laughs> University is older than the Aztec Empire. What? Oxford University founded 1096. Aztec Empire, 1325. So yeah, Oxford is only 30 years after the Battle of Hastings. What's after the Battle of Hastings? 30 years after the Battle of Hastings, Oxford University was started. Yeah. That's, That's fucking old. old. Man. I knew it was, I thought it was like 1200s or something, but yeah. It's always, they always do look like Okay, modern. now we need... A not good answer, as in a Joe Larry <laughs> answer. And here's my proposal: we give a fact that Joe Larry thinks about himself that is really hard to believe. Like, okay. holy shit, I'm not wearing any underwear right now. Have it for thirty years. No, I think like a <laughs> no, just something like that. I haven't worn underwear. What is wrong with you, sir? Since I was seven, I am currently forty-two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what's what's a good Joe Larry one? That's my example. I don't know if that's a good one. Oh my God! You have even numbers of balls. Decent. <laughs> <laughs> I think even just saying. How about I, I have balls. an odd number of of testicles? Well, you... no, because that could be one. <laughs> I'll guess you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I like Cole's answer. Wait, wait, wait. I have an odd number of testicles. I would put dot dot dot, but it's not one. No, no, no. I'll. I'll leave you to guess whether it is one or three or three. Okay, that's actually worded pretty well. I like it. <laughs> I like it. There we go. I like that's how something that's about <laughs> this is an actual fact. We just made up a fact. <laughs> 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 Joe Larry's an interesting guy. He's had a crazy life. All right, what are your New Year's resolutions? I don't really make New Year's resolutions, but... I, I generally have goals. Yeah. Not like at New Year's, but it was like, what would I be trying for right now? Yeah, exactly. I'll try that. It's just mm-hmm. like, what are my current goals? Okay, I should work towards those more. That's basically what I see New yeah. Year's resolutions as. I don't think we're going to have interesting or good answers to these. Do you yeah. want to do a Joe Larry one? Yeah, I think we should just do a Joe Larry on this one. Like, to find my wife's murderer? No. no. <laughs> to my children. even number of balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? I'm going to put that as an also. If we can get another one, and then I'll end That's with That's hilarious. That. <laughs> but put the opposite of what most people want. I want to add... I want to gain 50 pounds. No, work people out actually less. have that. There are actually and work out less. people or people that are underweight. No, but... And work out less. Nah, that's uh, not that funny. Um, I like my even number of balls. 
Yeah, I, th- I feel like that's just funny on its own. I, oh, no, okay. We'll reference both of the last two answers. Wait, what? Okay, here we go. I want to find the murderer of my favorite child. <laughs> he didn't like three of them. And have an even number of testicles. That's <laughs> such a weird combo. <laughs> Ian, how do you put those two sentences and together? There's no logical <laughs> that thing is a to Joe connect Larry them together. Right there. <laughs> this is imperfect. All right, next question. It does if you know the history of this character. <laughs> <laughs> He's a person, goddammit. Uh, okay. <laughs> Do you ever feel like it's season six of your life and the writers are just doing wild shit to keep it interesting? Why or why not? Okay, so I think on average, if you take somebody's life, it's going to be boring as shit, right? Because there's yeah, a lot of sleeping, a lot of just sitting around watching TV. So you got to think of like highlights, yeah. right? It's a highlight yeah. reel. Mm. So season six of a show, what's the cra- like? Why did why season six? That's usually when the writers run out of ideas and they're just like, "What can we do to make things interesting?" Right? This is when they like on several shows. Like I know in Married with Children, I think it happened. I think it happened in uh, Family Matters. Mm-hmm. They introduced a child, a new yeah. child. Yep, this is the child. You're right. Yeah, it's the child season. Like, they adopted a kid or somehow ended up with another kid. These characters are so fleshed out and have done everything we can. We need something new to really shake things up. Yeah. Yeah. And also, if you're familiar with some of the shitty uh, teenager drama thing, it's like uh, having randomly picked two people to have sex until they run out of a combination. Mm. (laughs) Okay. Joe Larry answer. What could he have had sex with to to make his wife wild? Make his wife what? Wild. Is make Joe Larry wild. married? Um, Who the fuck would marry Joe Larry? <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. I got one. Okay, go. Neighbor's dog. Neighbor's dog. <laughs> I thought we should say, yeah, especially when I got drunk and fucked that shark. I feel like they were trying to top the jumping over it. <laughs> nah. We, nah. How does that work? Nah. No, All right. Know. You got a better something? No, I'm, I'm thinking, though. I'm thinking. Hold on. I'm trying to think of something that would relate to Joe Larry and, and a baby. Oh, here. Baby. <laughs> and a baby. <laughs> well, I was going to uh, give you my... Maybe we can mix this in with a baby. Here's my thought. It's can okay. be Okay. Like, yeah, and I'm doing a lot of cocaine to help him out. <laughs> help the writers out. <laughs> I think we, we should put that in there good. somewhere. I'm doing a lot of <laughs> doing a lot of hookers and blow. <laughs> no, I think I'm doing a lot of cocaine. That's pretty funny. Help them out. And then, that really sealed the deal. <laughs> you really, you really slag. 35 of them motherfuckers. Now that's give me funny. another, like, uh, I think that's perfect. that is like somebody who's coked out of their mind would do. No, I think that's exactly what they would do, is hold the exclamation mark. I know, I know, but, like, give me something that he did, like, uh, fuck the shark, or, like, whatever. What, what, what's a crazy thing to do on cocaine? Fuck the whale. You start a business. That's the cocaine thing. You always start a business. I'm starting a business. Okay, I got it. What, what was one, one of our business ideas? ideas? You could we have had the business. podcast of this. Business to... Oh, oh, oh. Uh, hmm? It was a... Uh, I wanted to start a business on one of our podcasts to prostitute out other animals. Yes, yes. So you have, like... I'm starting well, a dog prostitution animals, ring. Yes. I remember that. Pet prostitution. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what it was. Pet prostitution ring. Yes. Our podcast has gone too far. 
baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me summarize this for the listeners. Bye. Do you ever feel like it's season six of your life and the writers are just doing wild shit to keep it interesting? Why or why not? Jill Leary answered, Yeah, and I'm doing a lot of cocaine to help them out. Lots of exclamation marks. I'm starting a pet prostitution ring, baby. You want whore horses? Got ya. You want whore penguins? Got a ton of them cold hoes. You need a chin strap or an African penguin? I'm even going to have a whore spider. She can jerk off eight at a time. You see that editing as I'm reading? professional <laughs> yes yes you are a pro sir <laughs> all right next one all right what changes would you like to see to porn in 2019 now you can't just say oh we want some pets in there more pets <laughs> <We're really> good. <laughs> mm. or the whole goddamn farm mm. i want to see actual 3d porn like good virtual reality porn they have that, don't they? VR. I've never seen no, it. No, it's but... different. Having a real VR and just 360 camera is different. Mm. You know, you, you know what? The uh, the sex bots. I want to see them actually be mm-hmm. like priceable. Like right now, they're probably like I don't know if they're millions of dollars, but they're probably like a couple grand at least. How right? much? Really? How much does a sex bot cost? Sex bot cost. How, how good did you find out? Oh my god, they actually look really good. Uh, That's uh, creepy. Do you see oh, that video? Here you go. That looks way exactly more real than I expected. Sex bot right now. Multifunctional. Uh, that does not that does look, not that look real. Whoa, that's like looks really cool. That one looks uh, like a fucking action figure. That's, yeah, that's two hundred seventy bucks. That, that looks that like is... I could give it a machine gun and play with it. Like it's a GI Joe. Joe. <laughs> How much does a sex robot cost? Is that... Here's a fifteen thousand dollar one set to launch this year, Zach. Let's see. I it. bet you that actually looks good. Well, that's a close up. Ooh, this actually that looks not pretty so decent. I sold thousands of these silicone replicas. Dude, those are actually During my creepy visits, visits, real. Well, I don't want to see them. Uncanny Valley. It's an alt. I'm looking at each other from the. Did you realize what this means? Oh, that's super creepy. It seems like an because it's not quite right, though. Yeah, it still has the what's it called? The skin is off. What's that called? I mean, that's as much as the animatronic. The Uncanny Valley. Yeah, the Uncanny Valley. It still has that little effect. So, here's what's going to happen. I don't know how journalists go there and don't ask, did you fuck one? Uh, <laughs> just, just really awkwardly, but I would totally ask. No, wait, here's the thing, though. No, 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 no. You don't ask that. Have you tested with it? Oh, how's the testing going? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's the quality assurance process? Mm-hmm. That's actually a good question. You have to fuck them, right? If you're a part of, a <laughs> if you're the designer. Yeah. Gotta give them a so whirl. actually, you know, I have seen one of those animatronics tests, right? Uh-huh. So in order to have those robots functioning as supposedly for ten years, right? Mm-hmm. You do have to set up a rig somewhere, have them fucking for twenty four hours a day, <laughs> seven oh. days a week, <laughs> and how many years? This is called a stress test. Mm-hmm. So stress maybe test. somewhere in that room, you'll see a rig set up where the the, the thing is fucking. <laughs> Well, they could set up, like, a ramming machine with a dildo on it just to, like, stress test the doll. (laughs) Yeah. So here's the thing that I think I find interesting, though, is if sex dolls become pretty popular, like, people are actually using them a lot, eventually Uh there'll be porn of people having sex with robot sex sex dolls. dolls. So people will, like, they can't afford a sex doll, so they'll start watching porn of sex dolls. Or that'll become a weird fetish uh, thing of theirs because they do have one. That might be. I, I, I can't say that's wrong. <laughs> I don't think that's a funny Joe Larry. It's just, it's no, I'm just saying that's a funny thing. Now, now what wait changes? Till those sex dolls become a social welfare program. Okay, I have a real answer for this now. Okay. You know how when you go to like a, a Pornhub or any of those websites, it's always like five minute clip videos. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. But the five minute clip video is always like. 
They always start like at any porno. It's like, here's the oral, then here's the this, and then here's the that, right? Like, they all, they like tend to follow like, a cassette order. Okay. They need to have like the full video, and you can just select the scene you want. Oh, okay. I get you. That's a uh, real answer. Like customization. Yeah, I want the which shot you want. Yeah, mm. I did notice. Have you? I don't know how how much you frequent Pornhub, but they are innovators of videos, and they do mark now within the video like little Ooh. lines, and if you hover uh-huh. over them, they'll say like blowjob, like they'll okay. they'll do mark they really? like cowgirl. Where is this Pornhub? I, I think no it's idea. Pornhub. Yeah. Wow, more annotations and videos. So one of the <laughs> things we can maybe have answer. some sort of a gadget that can measure your heartbeat and blood pressure and while you're watching videos. porn. And it give you a sort of like a feedback loop of what would trigger you more. What? You see what I'm saying? No. So, for example, giving you a uh, like a regular video, right? Uh-huh. And you see like, ooh, blowjob scene, and your heart pumps up faster, uh-huh. and your blood pressure raises. Okay. So they mark it as a positive point. As, you want them to actually basically do machine learning on you. Yeah, exactly. No, it's just the individual machine learning because everyone's yeah, different. Yeah, who's going to hook up shit to themselves when they're like, I'm trying to jerk off, let me hook up the heart monitor. <laughs> no, just get your, get your watch, get your Fitbit. Oh, okay, your Fitbit. Wait, get I got another Fitbit. innovation for porn. Integration mm. with the... This is a real answer. Yeah, I love and it. I also, love it. like, a uh, partnership with some Integration sort of... Integration with a like Fitbit a, is great. Um, sex toys. I want to know how many so calories that you can burn. have sex toys that are annotated with actual video. For example, flashlight. Mm. So, while you're watching the video, it gives you, you know, certain reactions to certain scenes of the video. Oh, okay. the Fitbit so could pairing, track how right? long you last, too. And, like, keep an average... Mm. And see how long you last. So that's good. Shameful. That's why people want data for privacy. <laughs> <laughs> My other one is you know how like uh some places have like uh like there's like the wine thing like you can subscribe to get wine every month, but you do like a mm. little flavor profile mm. test before you get mm. it right. Mm-hmm. Porn uh-huh. could have a launching screen where it's like, what's your flavor of porn? And you click all the buttons of things you enjoy, and then all the videos are related to your tastes. Uh, so you so never see any... Like, un- like, they kind of had that with categories, but it's like a pre-category setup. Mm. Yeah. So I, I have a somewhat related question. So I didn't really have an answer like you guys. Mm-hmm. Okay. And my question is, do you need more from porn... <laughs> like, like, at what point do people look at porn and be like, yeah, there's enough vaginas to look at. <laughs> like, there are seriously millions of hours of porn. You can see ass tits. No, for sure. And like, every possible way, with every possible orifice stuffed, with every configuration of But if you notice, penis, Nick, my answers like, were all... Everything. Awful. But like there are so many. Like at what point do you go like, yeah, I don't need to find new porn. But if you notice, oh, my answer was had nothing to do with what was actually in the porn. It was all convenience mm. related to finding the porn and what I wanted to watch. And that's true. It's 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 a filter. There's yeah, exactly. Porn, it's just better filtering, so want. I can. Uh huh. It's faster for me to get to what I want to watch. Hmm. All right, next question. <laughs> next question. Good point, sir. <laughs> so how, what question how is our most serious answer an about answer porn? What's that? Our, our most how much porn is enough? That's porn. what I need to know. <laughs> okay. What's the next question? How, what question have you always oh, wanted an answer to? Oh, I didn't hear you say it. That's the question. Uh, uh, good question. Uh, this one. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's pretty funny. Yeah. I like that as an answer. Just this one. No, just this one. I have this one. Just that one. Just, yeah, leave it simple. simple. 
Let me think. Let me think on this one for an actual qu- question. Okay. So I feel like there's some interesting things we could come up with. Just need to think in here. I'm trying to think of something I'd really actually want to know an answer to. Related to the previous podcast, at any given time, I think Pornhub might know the answer to this at least. How many, like, somewhat. At any given How many people what? Time, how many people in the world are actually masturbating? How many people are actually masturbating? Like right okay. now, how many people I have are one. Chloe has a good one. And what are I have one that relates to our previous podcast. How many testicles does one man supposed to have? <laughs> <laughs> I think you know the answer to that one. Yeah, I think I think it's two. I think we can, we're pretty settled on that. That's I mean, I'm no biologist. <laughs> I, ha- I have a good one kind of related to yours, Zach. <laughs> Okay. How many people and which people have masturbated while thinking of you? Ooh, that's a good Ooh. one. Ooh. That is a good question. Not sure I want to know, though. <laughs> <laughs> it might be like the teacher, your like 70-year-old teacher you've always uh, looked up to. <laughs> and, and how many times? And it could be like every night. <laughs> like, I, I, I like to not know. I, I not thought know it was just kind of teaching me just, these things. Just not know. <laughs> that could, that's an Ignorance interesting. Ignorance is a bliss. <laughs> mm. I wonder if like, you know, like everyone has like the, the few hot girls in their class, like their graduating class. Like, if they knew how many people probably masturbated and thought of them while they're, like, you know, like, that number, like, they would probably be so mortified. Mm. Should, we should hand out charts at school. <laughs> journals. Right just, journals. Yeah, just, just give a check mark if you've thought of it. It just has a list of all the opposite sex. Well, I guess you could have same sex and opposite names, and you just yeah, tally yeah. as you that could be some of the real surprising ones. Mm, yeah. That's true. Maybe some dudes up there too. <laughs> the janitor just like goes across all the names and checks them all off. But you know, there is that issue with like, no matter what you're doing, oh, sometimes oh. a random thought pops <laughs> in your head. Someone has really young ones up there. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nah, morbid. What okay. you saying, Zach? I said, you also have the problem, though, like, at any given time, something random might pop in your head. So there might be, like, yeah, I was thinking of fucking this girl, and then, like, since that girl's in this class, I thought of that male teacher, too. Like, that, oh, just pop- that doesn't count. I'm just it's saying. It's gotta be, think, think of you as fuel for the masturbating. True. There you go. True. That's the better way to go. <laughs> there you go. That's a good question. Okay, and then, okay, here's another question. Uh, like, related to it. Has anyone thought of you to try to get them to, like, get rid of an erection or make them not horny? Ooh. <laughs> good. <laughs> um, I got an actual good, a- good question. Okay. Does other intelligent life exist in the universe? Ah, everyone wonders that question. I know, but that's the... Come on. What question have you always wanted to know the answer to? That's definitely a question. Is there an after? Okay. An obvious one. Now, here's the real question, Zach. If some <laughs> deity were to come with to you and say, I will give you the answer to one of two questions, either you'll get to know whether or not you're alone in this universe and there is alien life, a simple <laughs> yes or no question... Or you get to know ev- the name and how many times everyone has thought of you and masturbated. Which one do you choose? A deity comes to me. So already I have the yeah. afterlife kind of answered, right? Yeah, that's answered. So it's between alien life and who's masturbating. Thank you. Well, alien life wouldn't be interesting life. there then either because then I would just know the deity made them. Let's say you can <laughs> magically know one, okay? Hey, let's let, cut out the details, okay? I, I would still go with aliens, for sure. Especially if it was intelligent. Oof. I find that... Nah. I just assume that there is other life on other planets. Yeah, but oh, to have a for sure So I don't think it's that much of an answer. To have and it. I just assume everyone thinks about me when they masturbate. <laughs> what? So I guess I don't need to know either. Yeah, see, you already know the answer. I'm good either way. All right. Next question. 
Uh, what's the most unsettling thing you can hear while taking a leak? I tell you one thing I hate when I'm taking a leak and I hear is if somebody's mm-hmm. taking a shit and they they're some I don't know these people exist I don't know if you're one of them but people that actually <laughs> make grunts and noises as they shit. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Like, how? Yeah, I definitely heard yeah. it. Like, what are you going <laughs> through? <laughs> well, you're not lifting weights, man. Yeah, like, I've I've taken some rough poops, but I've never been like... <laughs> like, I've never made that <laughs> I noise. I don't think it helps. You know what I think is unsettling when I'm taking a leak? When anyone tries to tar- like start a conversation with me. Really? Like, I'm in the middle of something here, man. No. For me, it's like a burst of pipe. What? Oh! If there's an underground pipe bursting uh-huh. sound, I was like, "Shit!" A fire alarm. Would or, be bad. or when, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like when you are taking a, you know, a dump, and then the, uh, you know, you feel earthquake happening. Oh yeah! <laughs> like, be, did you did you just pull up and go? Did you yeah. not pull up and go? That's like the worst <laughs> spot to be in when you're like any sort of natural disaster. Yeah. No, the worst one is you're showering. No. I've literally seen people. No, but it's worse <laughs> if you're taking a shit. Yeah, taking a shit's pretty so bad. Either way, you you're fight. going without your clothes. But one, you've got a shitty asshole, and one, you don't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. But, but, like, you're in the middle shower, you got a soap on, and then you turn well, the shower, you can much grab a towel and head out. Okay. Because, like, if I'm running out of a building, and I didn't get a chance to wipe... I mean, that's I rough. just can't feel like I could walk around. What did you say, Zach? I said, that's rough. Not so much. Yeah. Yeah. That's you pretty know, hard. I've, I've, uh, this one, the, the earthquake in China happened in, uh, I think it might be 2008 or something. Um, I was in the English class mm. right now. I do hear people say, like, there's some dudes just wrap a towel and run out, uh-huh. right? But I don't know whoever was in the middle of a ship, but I'm sure there oh, is somebody. I'm sure there are a couple that <laughs> were like, well, uh, don't smell been. too hard. Yeah. <laughs> you know one thing I hate about restrooms? And this is, like, so true at my new job. Why are they uh-huh. so damn quiet? Like, can't we have some, like, background music? Oh, when you're in the bathroom? Yeah. Like, why it's do probably, we choose to make bathrooms yeah. so uh, quiet? Like, they should. They should have. So we can well, hear everyone weird. pee and so, shit. Yeah, any like if they had elevator music, I guess people already hate that. And they don't actually have it in elevators anymore. No, you have heard. Of I feel like, music. but that's have because you ever heard it? you're not um, making when I shit go to sounds. A hospital, there is. Yeah, you know, like Depends that would be. Hmm. But I feel like no one would want their music to be played in a bathroom. No, you don't like play like certain people. You just music. play a radio play, station. Play like some Zen music. No, I say you just play a radio station. You play what, Zach? A radio station. Oh, okay. I don't know. Certain music make me not want to poop, though. <laughs> what? Just saying. <laughs> certain music. Like, certain music makes you not want to poop. Yeah. Like, if you don't listen to ACDC, I... Uh, no. I feel like you just poop harder. No. There's, <laughs> there's some music just, like, too fast-paced. It doesn't help me to calm down. Oh, and then... That's what I want. I want techno music while I poop. <laughs> I'll start <laughs> farting and pooping to the beat. <laughs> I mean, imagine your beautiful classical music <laughs> suddenly was mixed in with uh, a couple of fart sound. <laughs> yeah, opera, and then every now and then in the opera, the <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I would try to get my first to go along with it, too. No, for <laughs> sure. not. <laughs> Oh shit! It's another yeah, game to really play. really obligated trying to make a. I'd even start and stop my urine run. stream to a beat. <laughs> Practicing kegels. So Joe Larry's answer is Raptors. <laughs> uh, if, if no one else has a better answer, it's Raptors. I, I'm okay with Does Raptors. Something better than Raptors. I am a okay rap- with Raptors. A Velociraptor from like Jurassic Park. Oh, the dinosaur. What'd you say, Zach? I'm totally okay with Raptors. Raptors, it is. Mm-hmm. Oh, Last oh. question. Da, da, da. I was going to say that it would be a hand that's coming out from another store and say, like, You got any papers? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Men of Red, what's some advice for a girl who wants to start a conversation with a guy that she doesn't know? 
Oh. Oh. Okay. Pick out something on his t-shirt or whatever it is, video games, and pretend like you really like it and know it really well, even if it's not true. Okay, so how would I answer this that. question? Like, men of Reddit? You know, what do you think? Well, it says men of Reddit. Just, just but so, woman, what would you do? What would I do? Just try to strike a conversation? Mm-hmm. Uh, it depends on the situation. Like, yeah. uh, uh, you're, like you're, you're in a bar or you're in the, yeah, I, a lunch? Or I'm thinking the, this is a pick-up advice. Like, you want to pick up... Yeah. Guy. What would be your strategy to pick up a guy? Okay, never done that, but I I got um, exactly hmm. as a guy what I would want a girl to do. Hey, I think you're hot. Want to go on a date? See, straight see, to the for point. me, I I should give advice of girls of Reddit. What are some advices for men who want to start a conversation with okay, a yeah, girl? Okay, you can do that. What, yeah, what you should answer the reverse. Start complimenting, complimenting her shoes. <laughs> Compl- that's so you know what? You We're just gonna put that as the answer because it's. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> lamenting his shoes. Chloe, I love it. <laughs> what? <laughs> if a guy actually came up to you though and complimented your shoes, wouldn't you think he's kind of weird? Like, why is a guy liking my shoes? Um, other than he's selling the yeah. shoes, um, like guys don't, know, don't typically man. like. But uh, but I do do shoes. feel appreciate that you uh, you um, know you spend big bucks on those shoes what that if you it was always more, like, wanted, and then you feel like they're being do you appreciated. Think, so, uh-huh. do you think it's weird if a guy at work says something about your shoes? We had a conversation apparently at work, and my you know the very liberal boss mm-hmm. was like, basically, you should not compliment women on anything. What? Huh? At what? work. Ever? Anything physical. Phys- well, shoes not physical. Shoes aren't, no, yeah, that shoes aren't physical. It's appearance. Appearance related. Oh. I think appearance related. You can say you did a good job. Da, da, da. Really? I think appearances. Yeah. No, oh, okay. I mean, some, some people might take it a bit too far. I don't know. <laughs> Apparently, it's a great way to hit on a girl, so. It's true. I have I complimented a girl I, uh, on like, her well, hair or something. It's just. Hmm. I don't know. I, I always see like women complimenting other women on things, but I, like I have a way to make Joel Larry's answer crazier. Well, What's the craziest fucking thing of he can wear his shoes? Like those five toed ones, or oh yes, yeah, the five toe rooms. Ones. What's that? The five rooms. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It takes a lot of courage to wear. Vibrams. That's what they're called, Vibrams. Yeah, yeah you got yeah. it. Uh, I think that was a brand. Yeah, it's and it's mine. the main brand. It's yeah. like the band-aid of the five-toed shoe world. Is this, is this a good enough Yeah, answer? that's good. Or do you think that makes it worse? Start complimenting his shoes. Love it when women notice my shoes. It takes a lot of courage to wear Vibrams in my conservative workplace. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> good. We got your answer for that one, Chloe. Yay! Freaking <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay, what is, from the men, they haven't given any actual yeah. advice. True that, dog. Well, I gave my advice. Uh, what's yours? Did you not hear it? No. Oh, I said, like, if a woman actually is interested in me, I would like it to be very forward. Like, hey, I think you're really, hot. Like, you on a date. Like, like, I I think you're hot. Let's go to the bathroom and bang one out. I mean, no. that's fine, too, I guess. I, depending on if it's a workplace, I'll probably be like, well, let's, like, wait till we get off work and then go somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> depending on the workplace, too. Like, do we have a private I, I have an apartment we can go to. Well, hold yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. Hold on there, crazy lady. It also, oh, like... I really can't wait, huh? No, I don't think that. If it's a single bathroom, like though, I, I might weird. be up for it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think Chloe's answer is, like, no. Like, it well, depends on context. You gotta talk about something you're doing and get to know the person. Just talk to them about anything. Yeah, true. Mm. I, want, I want to be hit on, like, girls are hit on really poorly. Like, where they're like, <laughs> are you tired? What? No? Oh, because you've been running through my mind all day. I want a girl to say that to me. 
What? Really? <laughs> Did it hurt when you <laughs> fell from heaven? <laughs> Let me clarify. I want a good-looking girl to say that. Yeah, yeah, The problem yeah, is, obviously. I don't think any good-looking ones would ever do that. Yeah, true. <laughs> very, very true. I don't feel like a good-looking woman would probably be good at picking up men like that. Yeah, she doesn't yeah. ever have to yeah, figure exactly. it out. She just has to look at you and be like, oh, she's interested in me. Sweet. She glanced at me. She might love me. She wants this dick. <laughs> you help me at the hello. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. What's that to yeah, the dancer? Uh, Jerry Maguire. Well, that's the last question we had. That was good. Yeah. If you want to do another one, because after editing, I don't think this is going to be an hour. It don't all have to be an hour. Alright. It's fine. That works. Mm-hmm. So we'll call this Answer Reddit. Answer Reddit. Mm. I don't think that went pretty well. Wait, wait, wait. Before we end, though, what? I want to see if we got any replies. Oh, good call. Oh, shit. We, we did. Oh, shit. Already? Thirteen? Four? Holy shit. <laughs> we got that many? Four? No, yeah, wait. We got several. <laughs> we, I, think, I think we know how to do it. I think the key was uh, rising. Yeah. Now, well, rising? I, I want to see them in context. I also think we needed, really like, somewhat serious answers. Yeah, they weren't as off, completely off the wall. Well, some of them were pretty off the wall. Okay, our answer is people replying. I had an odd number of testicles. I'll leave you to guess whether it's one or three. Someone guessed 13. What a fucking moron. <laughs> Can we call... Wait, let's tell... Say they're a moron. I said one or three. <laughs> I would just put... I said one or three. Oh, no. Oh, wait, wait. I'm going to reply. How did you know I was trying to mislead you with one or three? (laughs) So on the nose. Good. Good stuff. (laughs) All right. Next. Uh, Somebody guessed four. Why is everyone stupid? Mm Mm-hmm. (laughs) <laughs> the guess for I have an odd number of testicles I'll leave you to guess one Did or three you, we've had the guess, guess 13 I and the four definition of odd <laughs> 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 I'm <gonna> the <laughs> we're the answer to this I don't know if you're serious but if you are I'm sorry for you <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let's read that again. The, I want to find the murder of my favorite child and have an even number of testicles. We gotta, we gotta read that again for for the audience. The full. Okay. Full so thing. the the question was, what are your New Year's resolutions? Joe Larry's answer is, I want to find the murder of my favorite child and have an even number of testicles. And then somebody replied, I don't know if you're serious. But if you are, I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> upvote it. Should I reply? I miss my testicle least. the most. Upvote it. I don't know. No, just upvote nah. it. Upvote it. Because then that conflict. What's that? Upvote the comment. Ah, you're right. Boom. Upvote it. We should upvote everybody that responds to us. No yeah, yeah, for sure. Boom. Even Boom. the idiots that can't guess one or three. Mm. Or an odd number. <laughs> Okay, to our horse spider thing, I'd love a horse spider and two chin straps if you got them. <laughs> I love it. And then the final reply. It's, everyone loves our testicle. Yeah, they really do. At least, see? still no one has guessed one or three, though. I nailed it. It makes no <laughs> sense. What's that? It's, no one has guessed one or three yet, even though we said we'll yeah. leave you to guess if it's one or three. Yeah, and then no one actually put one or three. They just put random number. One even guessed an even number. <laughs> so dumb. I, I really want to reply to myself as a like Unibo. What? Unibo. Oh, Uniball. Uniballs. <laughs> so if you have three, you'd be a tri ball. <laughs> I'm so glad we got like I've been trying so hard to get responses and now we've actually oh shit did we just we're get getting more. more oh we did 
We're still getting so many. What the hell? I do I win chicken dinner Whoa. for your fall or bald freaking next year? What? Oh, cause <laughs> that's the guy that just responded. I responded to him. He responded to us already. So look, I have not four. Did you guess I changed the definition of odd? I did. Do I win chicken dinner for you? Four bald freak of nature. Four freak of nature. <laughs> as long no, put as long as you have a mouth big enough to suck on all ball all balls. Eh. Eh. That's not that funny. You didn't upvote the seven. What? What's that? You didn't upvote the seven. You gotta upvote these peeps. Oh, I'm gonna upvote seven. Oh, there's always a third way, but I'm just that was the other reply. I don't get it. How did you? How did you know I was trying to mislead you with one or three? So on the nose. There's always a third way. Oh, okay, I gotcha. As in, there's always a different answer. Gotcha. Upvote him, you slacker. Oh, yeah. How about I reply to him with a horse spider comment? Yeah, we need no, to. No, but I have a, a spider you can have sex with. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I got a horse spider you can bang. She's pretty used up, though. All right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we got to click to see if we got uh, even more replies. This guy. It's crazy. <laughs> Joe Larry has become somewhat consistent in a really weird way. <laughs> yes. I'm, I, I'm really uh, excited to find out tomorrow if there's even more, like, insane responses well, now it's to like this a, crazy shit. I feel now it's just a segment we can do with every podcast at the end. Yeah, now that I think the key was rising. If you go to rising rather than I think we went to new before. Yeah, rising means people means are people actually looking actually at go. it. Interesting. All right, Joe Larry, success. All right. All right. All right. All right. Later. Bye. Bye. Bye.